So this is going to be the hand part. Uh, it's pretty pretty easy to like uh, to like what you call it. Put it uh, attach it to the shoulder. So it's uh, kind of like loosey uh, the shoulders that is. It's kind of loose because it's only like connected through here. So it's kind of loosey, loose loose. It's not that uh, stable actually, but never mind. So I'm gonna take out this this shoulder here and uh, show you what's what you can expect from the perfect great strike group model GHD or model GD or you can buy the original for like say I think 500 ringgit or more uh, you want to have a nice uh, strike Gundam go buy the original if you want to and if you are cheap skill like me or have, have no money at all or no income monthly income then you can like buy all these things and enjoy it as well so this is the shoulder as I uh, uh, I've shown you already. You can open up a bit here, so I'm not gonna go into that. My complaint about this uh, this hand is, or this uh, arm is the the show the the armor actually. Oh shit! The arm can come out quite easily. The hands, I uh, I find that it's not as impressive as the the legs, but the legs is also uh, another bag full of problems because of uh, the connections can actually break the plastic and stress when you move it with all the parts moving it's uh, bound to break in the end so uh, there are a lot of uh, parts that have been obscured by the the armor here this armor also at the wrist part here is not that secure it's loose so it can pop up anytime soon so we can actually take it out oh yeah now i understand i did not test it i i finished the arm this morning so i just came back can actually do do stuff with it now now that i realize so the armor here at the the biceps there it can be like uh, it's quite quite loose actually. So when you move the the arm, you got to be careful. The armor can actually come out. So the only solution is to use blue tack or in this case it's green in color. This blue tack is uh, sticky, so it can like uh, well help it put in place the armor, which uh, is supposed to come out easily because this is a perfect grade strike rule. The perfect grades, the perfect grades are, are designed to like show off the inner frame, but uh, I have to say that the perfect grade for this uh, strike group I think it's not as good as the perfect grade for the RX-78-2 the original Gundam piloted by Amuro Ray if, from the pictures that I've seen of the perfect grade strike group uh, strike sorry perfect grade RX-78-2 all the panels can open up individually and nicely and uh, to show the what's inside uh, the inner frame but when it comes to this one of course you can do that as well but uh, when it comes to like the armor around the ties, you can just take out the armor. You can pull it out. What I wanted is, I want it to be like the RX seventy eight, where you can actually open up the armor and and still be hinged to the inner frame. I want it. Well, I want the outer armor to be part or connected to the inner frame. You can open it up, swivel like a window. Now that is the true perfect grid thing. Okay, it's a perfect true perfect grid. But it's not here. This one is, uh, yeah, it can still open up some uh, hinges and whatnot and like a window system, but not all. Because all the armor here is like uh, individually, it's all like, it's not connected to each other. There's many, many parts to it. So they kind of like have hinges here and then everywhere until it's really and nearly and breakable. So this one here now, I just realized the this part here, the armor for this part can actually open up. Which I hope it works. But because it is tight, uh, is it supposed to do that? Oh shit, I don't even know. I don't think it's supposed to do that. Uh, I'm confused. Ah, uh, fuck it. Okay, it's not supposed to, like, it can't like swivel like this or it can't like open like this. It's not designed to be like that. So it can't like open up with this. It's already stuck, okay? It's blocked. But it seems to be like it's supposed to like uh, supposed to be able to open up. God knows, I don't know. I'm not familiar with it yet. So the side armor here, there's a there's a poly cap there. There's a round stuff there. There's a poly cap, it's supposed to be soft, and uh, that's for the the shield, I guess. It's for the shield and any other stuff that needs to be attached. So what you can do is like open it up, like so. You can see this hinge here. Is you can open up like this and expose this one this thing here just like the the what happens here 
the shoulder here this one is almost the same principle you can open it up to expose the the part where there are holes and you can put in the the ale strike or whatever you call it what else ale strike buster strike i mean the attachments for the the strike okay forgot already the name of the kira yamato's uh, all those names ale ale strike sword strike if i'm not mistaken and what about the blue one the blue type of uh, strike that's uh, that's with the big fucking gun and also the shield that is a claw okay wait the big fucking gun is the green one yeah the green blaster oops i got everything mixed up already so i need to go back to watch uh, gundam seed again hopefully one day when i have time when i'm not doing attack on the titans so we can open up uh, this part here to expose the hole here so we can uh, hinge it i'm not sure but it's supposed it looks like that it's logically whatever i said so this part here can also like open not open like uh, it can like uh, detach itself to expose something nothing actually but it's on a poly cap so this poly cap here might might be stressed one day and break so better not like take out this armor too often the rest not so much you can't take out the armor unless uh, i mean you can take out the armor but well uh, there's a lot of grief in it you can see the silver part here within the silver part supposed to like imitate a type of a uh, piston so close it back supposed to be a piston here but you can't see shit because everything is blocked already this thing is blocking it so i guess this uh, wrist here is uh, not like a human being you can't like the uh, you can't move the damn wrist like that without breaking this part here so so this 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 part here is strange that they you can move it like so eh? what the fuck uh not like that okay so this is the wrist uh, the arm or the broken fingers is supposed to be like this it's almost like uh, you know if you read game of thrones one of the knights uh, the onion knight uh, he has all his fingers chopped off so this is almost like his hand his 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 um, his uh, hand that miss that has a uh, missing four four fingers uh, four fingers missing so it's almost there it's halfway there actually this uh, this perfect great strike rook's hand so yeah i don't know why this one cannot like uh, come out like that to expose the 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 pistons inside so what it can do is like that only move a bit so this is the straight version straight version is like so so you swivel it and it's just a bit just open it a bit only that's all it's not nothing to cry home about uh, when it comes to like say the biceps there i don't see any pistons at all uh nope no pistons oh shit there goes the armor that's why it come, can come out so easily so you put a bit of a uh, blue tag just a bit will do it's like it acts like a sticky thing okay it's not blue in color but i call it blue tag because back in the day many many years ago it's called blue tag because it's in, it's blue in color but now it's due to diversification and also consumer awareness and consumer preserver pref, preference everything comes in all types of colors including con con including con condoms in all types of flavors which is a good thing i guess aha uh -huh. it can actually do the 360 thingy i mean the 90 degree bend but uh, of course you sacrifice things like uh, falling off and coming out yep a lot of stuff can come out uh, it's not that uh, secure so you can move you can expose this part here so it's gray in color uh, it would be nice if it was like a piston uh, color it's all gray this uh, this inner frame so what I can, so I propose uh, you to do is uh, color this part here which gets exposed when you like do a 180 degree bend on the this is the elbow there and this is the shoulder part this is supposed to be arm which is now torn itself up asunder so yeah paint it uh, gray here so it's uh, like a uh, not painted gray painted silver and shiny stuff so it like uh, differentiates itself from the other pieces to make it like a color separation technique which is uh, present in all the real grades now and also some of the master grades like say the rx78-2 master grade has color separation and that is all types of awesome when it comes to this uh, perfect grade strike rule of course there's only one pink for the armor so there's no 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 color separation to make it more awesome unfortunately so it's up to you to actually do it yourself if you want to make it more awesome like say this part here is uh, supposed to house or shield the armor schneider or the knives it's a 
I mean, if you haven't watched Gundam Seed, the Armor Shiner played a very important role in the first or second episode uh, where Kira Yamato used it to defeat some veteran soldiers from the Zaf country, universe, nation, whatever. So you can actually do something to this one to color separate it. You can actually make it whiter or you can make it darker. So the best bet is to make it darker to separate it from the rest, the, the other pinks. Uh, you can do that to make it more awesome. And uh, of course the inner frame, you can make it awesome as well to do some color separations, silver, dark silver, whatever, shiny silver, all types of fun shit if you have the time to actually do that with a, with a very, very, uh, very troublesome uh, technique called airbrushing and also masking and also time consuming. So it's great shit, you can do a lot of great shit with this, you can color separate it, there are places where you can mix silver, you can put wires, blue and red as well, make it all types of fucking awesome. So see you in Malaysia, hopefully you enjoyed this video, if you like it, like it, if you don't like it, well, bye bye, see ya.